Hi everyone, this is Shruti from adhavinamikap.com and today I am going to talk about removing unwanted hair from your face and your body. Ever since I started my channel, I got so many requests to make this video. So today I am here and uh, first I am going to talk about facial hair, then I will be talking about uh, um, underarm hair, then I will be talking about body hair and then in last I will talk about bikini line hair. Okay, so let's start with facial hair. Okay, so let's talk about facial hair first and uh, to make this video easier for you dolls, I'm going to divide it into uh, two uh, different sections. And the first section is eyebrows. Now, I already uploaded a video on how I shape my eyebrows. So I'm going to link that video somewhere here as well as in the description box for those who are watching me on your mobile. And uh, yeah. So uh, next I'm going to talk about facial hair you have on your cheek area, your jawline area, especially here, and your upper lips and your forehead. Now I am fortunate enough that I don't have that, many, that much facial hair because of my first preferred method and uh, I will talk about that later on. So first I'm going to talk about my least preferred method which is going to be laser and I don't have um, personal experience with laser because it's a very expensive treatment and as I told you girls I don't have that many you know facial hair so I don't think I need that but uh, I um, before making this video I talk with a lot of uh, my friends who are having laser treatment and I asked them that uh, you know have you seen any hair growth after laser treatment and most of my friends said that uh, you know there is a little hair growth but uh, it is in patches which, it, which makes it a little worse because they still have to go for uh, you know other methods to remove uh, these uh, hair which are coming in patches so that's why I will say laser, laser treatment is going to be my least preferred method but if you are having way too many facial hair and if you think it's pretty hard for you uh, you know to deal with it then definitely consult the doctor and uh, i would say that uh, you know go for other other methods and if you it doesn't work for you then you can go for laser treatment rather than you know if you haven't tried other methods how you know that they are not going to work for you. So uh, my uh, third or least preferred method will be waxing. Now why it's least because uh, waxing actually involves, uh, you know, uh, this treatment is kind of uh, involving your facial skin, which is, which I do prefer. Uh, because uh, back when you wax on your face, it makes your facial skin a little bit sensitive, especially if you're going out on a hot summer day, uh, to a parlor to get your face, uh, you know, uh, uh, facial hair removed uh, by waxing, and you're coming uh, back to home and it's extremely hot. You're just making uh, this whole process worse, or you are actually, I personally believe, it, you know, uh, because I have done uh, waxing for myself on my upper lips as well as on my forehead. So I can tell you from my personal experience that it does make your skin, especially if you are having acne or sensitive skin, it is going to make your skin a little bit more sensitive. So that's why it's my, uh, you know, second least uh, preferred method. Uh, and uh, okay, so the next method is my second preferred method, which is threading. Now, uh, threading is one of the methods which I like a lot, especially for my upper lips area as well as my eyebrows. Uh, the reason is because uh, threading is very uh, uh, threading is very expensive and um, inexpensive here in India, and you can get it done for half a dollar or less than that for both your eyebrows and upper lips. So uh, it's widely available and uh, it doesn't involve your skin and it doesn't make your skin sensitive at the same time. And when I go for threading, I think that my uh, the, uh, the next growth I get, my hair are not that brittle, that's what I think, okay? And uh, uh, then uh, my uh, first preferred method is, there are uh, another methods like uh, using, uh, you know, razors or hair removal creams, but I don't think so, I should talk about these things for facial hair because it is ridiculous to use facial, uh, you know, hair removing creams on your face because, you know, if a facial, um, you know, if a cream can, uh, you know, melt down your hair, what it can do for your skin? Just think about it. So that's why I don't think I should talk about 
um, you know, these creams and uh, razor for especially for face, facial hair. Now, my first preferred method is Upton. Now, it's an ancient Indian method and uh, I'm fortunate enough that my mom did it for me when I was a kid and it's like a scrub which uh, my mom did for me so uh, when I was a child all the unwanted hair she removed it for me so I don't have that many facial hair as well as body hair and you can do that Octane method for body as well I am going to dedicate it's a, a full video on Octane and uh, I will take a Q&A as well for Octane method and I will do that video soon for you dolls okay and that's my preferred method because uh, sooner or later it is going to remove all your facial hair and naturally because it's a very safe natural method so I think that's why I like it a lot so that's all about facial hair let's move on to uh, body hair now let's talk about uh, body hair now and uh, if you guys are having way too many uh, body hair and you guys are thinking to go for a laser treatment i would highly advise you girls to research a lot for laser treatment and uh, have a word with people who already uh, done this treatment and do your homework research lot, uh, read a lot of reviews on youtube and on internet and uh, talk to people and that's really gonna help you because you just want to be aware of that's what I will do for myself uh, myself and I, I want you guys to be aware of what you are uh, putting your body under because their treatment is a very intense treatment and it's expensive as well so I would highly advise you girls to do your homework before going for a lazy treatment one more tip there is a series called uh, a dark matter twisted but true on discovery science just watch that and uh, you will get to know that uh, sometimes technology can be harmful for your skin so that's why I want you guys to be aware of what uh, different things can do for your skin so um, yeah for removing body hair my least preferred method will be using a uh, hair removal cream reason is if this cream can remove or melt down my body hair then it's not going to do something amazing for my skin so that's why I don't prefer this at all now this uh, second method is uh, using a razor now using a razor is the most user friendly most quick method of removing your whole body hair and you can just take a uh, shower take razor with you when you're showering and you can remove uh, whole body hair in just like you know two or three minutes so it's most user friendly but it's not on my preferred method list reason is when you remove hair uh, with a razor the growth you will get is very hard and your hair will be more brittle and uh, after like two or three uh, days you can see there is visible growth on your body so that's why i don't prefer that okay uh, then there is another method which is uh, using a body groomer or uh, uh, appellator and uh, I use a body groomer especially if I'm going out and uh, I am wearing sleeveless top and uh, you know I can see my arm here then I use this and uh, I know it's not the bestest method and uh, it is going to give the results as exactly like razor but uh, still it is very handy and user friendly so sometimes if you are in rush then it's like a best friend for you so that's why I like it and uh, yeah my preferred method will be waxing now what i do is i keep wax uh, i use hot wax not cold wax let me tell you there is a difference between cold wax and hot wax and uh, hot wax is always better and uh, i keep it in a, a container microwaveable container and uh, i can you know just uh, microwave it for uh, 30 seconds 10 seconds then 20 seconds and 30 30 seconds and uh, then I can use it with uh, these white uh, strips and remove here. Now I know how to uh, you know waxing at home so if you guys want me to do a video on that just comment below and I will be happy to do that for you dolls. Okay now that was removing hair from your body. Now let's talk about for removing hair from underarms my uh, second preferred method is using a body groomer, razor or an appellator. Now appellator is uh, still better than razor and body groomer but uh, I cannot raise the pain of appellator so that's why I don't use it. But uh, I like this body groomer a lot because it's very quick especially if I'm rushing out. I can do it in just like 30 seconds and I'm good to go so that's why I prefer that. 
but my preferred method or number one method will be waxing. I like it a lot. I do um, uh, wax my underarms every month. And uh, here is a quick tip for you girls: if you wax your underarms, never use a spray deodorant. Never, ever, ever. It's gonna make your uh, your underarms darker, or they will appear more darker. The skin will be very, very dry and uh, brittle. So just don't use a spray deodorants, use a roll on deodorants, especially if you are going for waxing method. Shh. This part of this video is going to be strictly for girls, okay? So I'm going to talk about bikini line here now, okay? So I have tried four different methods uh, for me and uh, I tried hair removal creams, uh, appellator, I had tried uh, body groomer and then I had tried uh, waxing. Now let's talk about the worst one which is hair removal cream. Now I tried the sensitive one which is specially meant for bikini line and let me tell you girls I had the worst experience. So I will never ever ever advise anybody to use uh, hair removal creams. It's, even if they are specially meant for bikini line and they are meant for specific I used Appellator for uh, quite a good time, for one and a half year to two year and it was good but it was not the best experience I will say. And the last method is um, using a razor or a body groomer like this. Now after effect of body groomer and shaver is that you will get very very hard or coarse hair, hair and that's gonna be the worst and uh, after like two or three days you will get the hair growth back so that's not a good point that's why it's not my preferred method my preferred method is still waxing and uh, but it's a very handy method the results of bikini wax are amazing the hair growth will be way too less and your hair will be very soft and uh, after like two or three times uh, it's not going to hurt that much and uh, one more downside to bikini wax is that you cannot do it for yourself at home so you have to go uh, and visit a good uh, forever you just cannot and I think I embarrassed myself enough so that completes this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and you can hit on the subscribe button if you haven't already and um, I will put my um, previous video a link and my channel link in the description box for those who are watching me on your mobile. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you in my next video. Thanks a lot girls. Love you all. Bye-bye.